Prayer. What is it really? With so much pain and sorrow in this world, how could it be that our feeble words can make any difference? Why would a holy God lend his ear to such sinful men? And Jesus said, Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It is through prayer that these words of Christ find their life in us, his followers. We are in a fight, and of course, if I'm going to have a victory, I want to know first who my enemies are. The world, the flesh, and the devil. The righteous King of Heaven has called us to pray, because it is through prayer that we learn to abide, to make our home in Him, to make His kingdom come. Staying in step with the Holy Spirit, in prayer we find a relationship that our souls long for, for eternity free from the bondage of sin and death, and a kingdom community that has no end. As we take our burdens to God alongside one another, we are united. And suddenly, we recall that we are not alone, but we are part of a great fight. For though the victory is won, the battle is yet to be fought. And the evil that rises within our flesh, our world, and our great adversary, the devil, would love nothing more than to sever us from the true vine and watch us wither. So together, we come before the Father, lifting one another up, casting off the spirit of fear, and walking in the power of love. We are weak, proud, and easily distracted people. Yet we serve a God who bids us to oppose the watches of the night and approach his throne room with confidence to find our help in our time of need. How can we neglect such a great salvation?